Hi, I'm here today with Greg Campbell Photography. Greg is a longtime member of Wells Church and has been attending Wells Fest for the last 38 years. I wanted to get with him just so he could tell us a little bit about the history of Wells Fest and give us some information on what's going to be happening next weekend. Greg, tell me a little bit about how Wells Fest got started. Malcolm White, who you all know, started Wells Fest 39 years ago and it was at Millsaps College on the grounds to give back to the church. Okay. When is when and where is the fence located this year? Wells Fest is about 39th year, like I said, is next Saturday, September 30th, from 9 30 to 4 p.m. at Jamie Fowler Boyle Park, which is the old Lakeland Park on Lakeland Drive next to Smithville Stadium. Okay, during our conversation you had said that it starts at 9 30 with the pet parade. What other types of activities do you have going out throughout the day? The prep parade, you bring your Dolls, cats, anything on a leash, you dress them up in the costume. There will be awards for the best dressed and best friendliest and all of that. And we'll also we'll have kids activities for you buy tickets for a small charge. We'll have food trucks there for your eating pleasure. We'll have snow cones and stuff like that as well. We also have a arts and crafts area set up for local vendors to sell and showcase their wares. We'll have a plant sale as well, um, but our main attraction is the music. The music will start at 10 o'clock and go through 4 o'clock with some of Jackson's hottest area bands. Ah, that's musical good. groups. That's what Wells Fest is really known for, is their musical, the musical side of it. Correct. We were Jackson's first alcohol and drug-free family festival. 39 years ago. Oh, good deal. I know you mentioned that y'all raised a lot of money over the last 39 years. Tell me again that number and who is the beneficiary of this year at this year's sales? We have raised over a million and a half dollars through the years, and this year's beneficiary is Operation Shoestring, which ironically started in the basement of the Wells United Methodist Church some years ago. Okay. Well, Greg, I appreciate your time. And if y'all need anybody for photography, make sure you reach out to Greg Campbell with Greg Campbell Photography. I'll put his information at the bottom of the video also. Thanks, John. Okay, thanks.